Hello my loves, hello beautiful souls, namaste and welcome to the channel. My name is Erica, I'm a psychic medium, this is Gypsy Capital Tarot. Um, I hope that everyone is doing amazing today. Um, I hope that you guys are all um, hanging in there with all of these extremely powerful, powerful, beautiful um, energies that are bringing us into a higher state of consciousness and being and living and really aligning us to our highest timelines right now um, in a very, very profound way, I have to say. This is probably the most powerful time that I have felt um, since I've been on this journey and just in general. Um, we have a lot going on um we have we're in the you know the full moon energies the full moon uh the full super moon okay buck moon in capricorn which is really <clears throat> for me it's helping us to do some powerful release work we have neptune in retrograde we have pluto in retrograde we have um saturn in retrograde we have venus going retrograde towards the end of june I believe we're going to have seven planets all at once. Uh, we're about to have seven planets all at once in, in full, in, in retrograde. So this is a time of <clears throat> seeing your own illusions. What it is that, how, how are you sabotaging yourself still? How are you deceiving yourself? How are you still codependent? In what ways are you codependent? In what ways are you sabotaging? In what ways are you deceiving yourself still? right? And it's all of us. It's me too, you guys. Like I'm, I'm a part of the collective. I'm going through this too, right? So today is a Lightworker Starseed reading. We're going to see what comes through. Um, <clears throat> take a moment to just set the intention of what it is that you are wanting to receive out of this collective message, okay? So just take a moment to, to set that vision and intention. Go ahead and just clear the energy. And so it is. Aho. Okay. So <clears throat> there's going to be <clears throat> some light language that comes through for sure uh, during this channeling. Um, the light language has been coming through very heavily. I mean, it does for me all the time anyways. But it's been coming through very heavily to share with the collective. Um, and in personal readings with clients, etc. So, just very powerful time. Um, right now, I'm doing my. I'm offering. Um, I still have some spaces available. I'm going to be closing it out here very soon, very quickly. Um, but my private one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons. Um, that's what we really kind of work on as well. Is your spiritual gifts and helping to activate dormant gifts, codes, things of that nature that are, 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 you know, lying dormant within you and helping to activate your light language and different healing modalities, etc. right? Um, and uh, anyway, so if that is something that you're interested in, I just brought it up because of the light language activation. That's one of the things that we help to activate and one of the ways that I bring forth activations to you and to bring forth quantum healing as well, okay? Um, very powerful stuff here, all right? And we all have the ability to tap into this. We all have it within ourselves and within our soul's memory, okay? So that's what I want to help you guys get in touch with. Um, so anyways, if that is something that you want to do, that's not why I was sharing it, but it's all down below in the description box. Um, one thing I want to share with you guys is this morning, because we are jumping in and out of timelines and different dimensions, and you guys are probably feeling it right now very heavily in the way of physical symptoms. Um, <clears throat> you could be having like pressure in your third eye. I keep getting a lot of like pressure in my third eye, your head. It could feel like, you know, you might actually have like sinuses and allergies, but it can feel like more pressure through, through here and through like where your third eye is. Okay. You could be getting 
activations within your throat. Um, it could feel like sore throat, burning in the throat. Um, maybe you're just getting like tickles in your throat. Um, maybe you're feeling called to all of a sudden um, sing or, 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 or journal, get your truth out somehow, right? So there's all these things taking place, right? Um, there could be, you know, some clearing going on, a lot of clearing in the heart chakra where maybe you're coughing a lot of stuff up, hacking, um, hacking things up, just a lot of like that old dense energy clearing stuff that's been stuck, lying dormant, like things like that, right? Um, but also like physically, like you could feel very, very tired. Um, you could feel just like you, you just, you're, you're exhausted, which this is exhausting. We are receiving a ton of downloads streaming in from the solar rays and, and the light codes and, um, you know, the way that it's coming through for me is light is light is light. So the sun, okay, is is charging and giving um, all the light, okay, on earth, the codes. So if you're, if you have a ring light on, the ring light has been activated by the sunlight and you're going to be receiving codes through the ring light, even though it's just electricity, it's not right. It doesn't matter. It's the sun. The sun has been activating all of the light streams here on earth for us, okay? So they carry these codes. Now they're not going to be maybe the same, but they're activating for sure. Um, the lights in your home, you know, things like that, okay? Um, even though they are a form of like artificial light, it doesn't matter. It's been upgraded. It's been um, uh, downloaded in, okay? So so just know that. So, so But the sun is obviously the 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 original, like the main source that, you know what I mean? So, um, the sun is, you know, you, you probably want to go set, um, well, we just had a full moon. So it'd be a really beautiful time if you feel guided to set your crystals out under the energies of this full moon, <clears throat> you know, and then to cleanse your crystals and to charge them up, you know, obviously you got, you got to be discerning, right? I would never stick my, amethyst uh wand out in the sun all day long because it can distort the darker stones um you know so you gotta be discerning but like these these kinds of crystals and clear crystals and you know things of this nature they love the sun and it's whatever can, is is sun friendly that you have jewelry pieces like that this is a very powerful time to let those pieces be charged up Okay, pieces that you carry with you, have around you, pieces that you wear. Okay, consistently keep letting the sun activate them, cleanse them, charge them. So it's like you're carrying around this crystal charged up with the sun um, as you go through your daily life. Okay, it's very, very powerful. <coughs> now, the um, the channeled, the, what I received, the download and vision that I received about the light codes and how the light, the sun the sunlight and the, and the divine is charging up all forms of light on earth at this time, even through electricity and things of that nature, right? Um, that's something that I receive personally. So, you know, I can't, you know, you may not hear other people say that, or if you ask someone about it, they might be like, huh, what, you know, or, or whatever. But that was a very specific downloaded message that I received um, in regards to this. Okay. Um, another thing, um, as I, I wonder if it'll show up in here if I take a screenshot. We'll see. I'll try to post it. Oh, I think it did. It showed it. It showed it. Okay. So speaking of jumping timelines at this time and, and all the things, right? It's not letting me. Okay. Anyways, literally you guys, I woke up this morning and when I went to sleep last night, I, I went to bed pretty early. I've been needing extra rest. Um, I even had to push back clients, um, an hour today, this morning, because my, it was taking me so long to, integrate my light body um, back into my physical vessel and to just feel like, whoa again, you know, because there's this very ethereal, you know, energy right now uh, with us and around us, right? So it can feel like you're walking through a constant, you know, dream state. There's a fly in here. <laughs> That's nothing divine right there. I mean, it is, it's part of it, you know, but it's nothing like a, an orb or something like, you know, it's just, it's an, it's a little fly. And um, I don't, like to kill things but i may have to um open the door and just see if it'll go out on its own and then i'll try to open the windows and see if it'll go out that way after the message um but anyways we're living in a very like powerful time of 
you know, it's, 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 it's the, the earth we it's been, we've been waiting for the earth to hit a, a certain vibration. It had to be at a certain frequency, right? Before the golden, um, I'm getting the golden crystalline aquamarine rays and codes of Atlantis. Okay. And Lemuria would activate once again. Okay. This is the time we've reached that time the new earth is here you guys we did it we did it it's it's been here but like now we're feeling it more than ever this is it's going to keep rising it's going to keep ascending it's never going to go back to a dense 3d you know shut down asleep energy ever 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 again it is only going to go up 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 from here um and we are the ones we are the chosen ones who are incarnated at earth at this time to be a part of this um, literally once in a lifetime's um, reality. Like the earth, we've been in a Shambhala state before at the times of Lemuria and Atlantis um, where there was not the, you know, there wasn't the polarity um, and the great division. It was everyone, it was a oneness consciousness and everyone was, um, you know, consciously aware of of themselves and connected to their higher self and their soul and living in that um, alignment, right? So now we are there again. And now this is a time of integration. This is a time of we continue rising, we continue healing, we continue doing the work. You guys are gonna start rising more and more and more, right? Um, but what I was going to say was this morning when I woke up, right, I went to bed, whatever, plug my phone in, you know, woke up this morning, you guys, and the top left part of my screen where anywhere where you can, it was, it's where you, you can see the little time. Okay. I have an iPhone. All right. Now on my lock screen, the clock was fine. Okay. I am straddling two timelines today in a huge way. Uh, and the time is not being shown. So it's blurred out. Only the clock part, only the clock part that shows the time is blurred out. So I literally can't see the time. I took a screenshot. It's blurred out. You can't see it right now. Today I do, I get on, this is the first like recorded reading that I've done today. Okay. Cause I've been meeting with clients and you know, stuff like that. Right. <clears throat> on the recording time. Okay. On my video camera, the whole time thing is blurred out. So there's something about the time being blurred today. In I'm straddling timelines today. It's 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 powerful. Okay? And I took a screenshot cuz I'm going to show you guys I'm going to post that on the community page so you guys can see it. All right? Now what's weird about this and the reason why it's even weirder is because just yesterday I'm, you know, on Instagram and I don't scroll. I'm not a scroller, okay? I don't I don't do that. If it's I trust in what I'm being shown. Okay. I don't seek, right? What I, what I seek or whatever I would seek is seeks me. Right. And I trust in that a thousand fold. So every time when I go on Instagram or something like that, right, I trust that whatever shows up right at the top of my feed that I can see, right. It's messages for me, the numbers, the, the message, the caption, the picture, the whatever it is, right. I'm getting chills com confirming this. Okay. Um, and I've shared this many times before here on the channel. So if you are new here, welcome in my loves. Um, so I was shown, um, she's another reader, Sistar here on, uh, on YouTube, uh, a star seed light worker. Um, and her name is, is Kim, Kimberly, Kimber, Kimber kiss, Kimber kiss the cosmic queen, right? Anyways, she posted a thing on her Instagram and it was someone else's TikTok. And the woman in the TikTok was talking about how she literally had the same thing happen to her, except she woke up and she was like traveling for work or something and staying in a hotel and she was supposed to be at this place or whatever at 11 30 and she was waking up had her alarm set for 7 30. well her alarm went off she said she grabbed it or whatever and then she had it in her hand and she moved her phone and set it like right back here like hit snooze or something like that right she set it right behind her and she said the moment she did that right and before she even could put her arm back over her phone was back in her hand and she was like, what just happened, you know? Okay, all right. So then she looks at the time and the time on her phone, she had just seen the time, 7.30, her alarm had just got off, right? So then when the phone jumped in back into her hand where it reappeared in her hand, right? Okay, timeline lapsing, timeline crossing, okay? The time on her phone said 11.30 and she said, oh my God, oh my God, 
And so she, she was freaking out. And first of all, she's freaking out because she's like, what just happened? What is happening? Like, oh my gosh, you know, and she's a light worker. She's on her journey. So she is like, not completely like, you know, she, she gets kind of what's happening. But anyway, so then she's like, her first thing is like, okay, well, I'm late. I'm late. I, I don't know what, what's going on. So she calls her boss. Her boss answers the phone. I forget her name. Just, you know, we'll call her Jen. Right. And he goes, Jen, how are you? Good morning. And he's like having breakfast. And she's like, well, I'm calling because I, I'm late. And he goes, no, no, you're not. He goes, it's, it's seven 30. You have plenty of time. And she's like, you know, okay, thank you. So then, you know, then she looks out the window to the parking lot where she knows some of her car, her coworkers vehicles who are, who, you know, if their cars are gone, then, then, you know, then, you know, cause they're not all going to be late too. Right. Like they're not all, ha this isn't happening to everyone. It went right. Like what's happening and other cars were there. So she's like, okay, so the, the real time here, uh, in this space time continuum in this moment is actually 7 30 AM, but the timeline that she was going through and receiving and straddling, okay. Was a later time. It shifted and even the physical phone shifted. Okay. <laughs> so that's why it's weird because literally I just saw that yesterday and she shared that again, everything I trust and say that is going to be shown to me on my newsfeed right in front of me. I don't scroll. It's because it's either it's, it's connected to me and I, I'm con connected enough to, to know. So I knew when I saw that video that one, it was because I've been channeling this. I've been sharing and talking about this like crazy, right? So it was confirmation of my messages. Um, and the things that we might be experiencing. And I've been talking about be prepared to be delighted. You might be experiencing really crazy phenomenons. You might be seeing um, galactics in the sky. You might be experiencing spaceships. You might be, there's a million different things that you could be going through and seeing and witnessing, right? And it's gonna be different for all of us, right? Everyone's gonna be experiencing different things, but I'm say sharing these things because I need everyone to know that no, you're not crazy. No, you're not crazy. I literally can't even tell how long I've been on you guys. I'm going to have to go off my intuition about, about how long I've been on and, and how long the reading is and stuff. Cause the time stamp is blurred out. I cannot see it and I cannot see the clock. But if I click my phone to the home screen, it shows the home screen time and clock, but not when my phone is open and not this timestamp. So again, powerful timeline shifts. And right now I'm in between them. Okay. So there's there's, there's, there's these future powerful timelines merging into my reality at this time. But the thing of it is, is that this is something I've been talking about for the collective. It's happening to us all on a global scale, right? It's just going to show up differently for, for each of us. And some will notice some won't like, it's like that. Right. But no matter what it's happening. Okay. So, and I'm used to like phenomenon things like this happening around me or, or, you know, like I've, I've shared this before I've walked in, this has happened to me probably about six times where I've, I've walked into, you know, up to an ATM machine, um, at a gas station or a store or something. Right. And it's working totally fine, but I walk up to it and it, it completely malfunctions. It shuts off It malfunctions. It won't work. They have to unplug it. They have to, right. Okay. But it's only because of my energy, because I, I, I did that, right? Because of how powerful we are in our energy fields and stuff like that, right? So that's just an example. There's like a ton of things that happen constantly. Like, and I've, I've shown it to people. I've witnessed people, other people have witnessed what I've said and shared and what things happen. And they're just like, oh my gosh, that's crazy, right? Well, this is the kind of stuff that's going to be, this is normal though. You know what I mean? It's crazy to us because we've been shut off from it for so long, but it is normal to us, to our true soul selves, to our true highest self. This is normal. This is, it's still magical, but it's not like, oh my gosh, this is magical. You know, it's like, oh my God. Okay. This is cool. Let's keep going. You know? Okay. We just, we just, we just, you know, uh, traveled through a portal just because we need to get from point A to point B and we don't get in a car, we don't get in a plane, we don't call it a, an Uber, right? What we do is we open a portal and we, and we travel through, we interdimensional travel and then we come out where we need to, in the time and the dimension and the place that we need to go, right? We don't, we don't mess around with like these slow 3D things. That was not even an, an option for us in many of our past lives, right? So we're getting back to the basics of who we are and everything that's taking place right now is really pushing that through. Like, 
you aren't going to even be recognizable within the next month, two months, a year from now, your whole life is going to be like, I'm getting the word bizarre, but it's not like your life is going to be bizarre, but the way that you look back and see everything and the things that are going to be taking place and happening, it is, it does feel bizarre. It feels out of this world because it is, it's otherworldly. It's not of this world and that's what's happening is these other higher timelines that are otherworldly are activating coming in merging to this normal world that we've been experiencing and that's what we say when it's the new earth it's like us rising into our true highest selves the earth rising into her truest highest self it is the timelines merging where it, it is literally there's magic merging in because of the vibrations that we've reached like it is, it is nutso, it is crazy, it is beautiful, it is exhausting, it's a lot, it's it's all the things, right? Okay, so let's get some messages really quickly because again, I can't see how long I've been on. I can see one little last part of like the timestamp. It's like the last second number. So it would be like the minutes and then the seconds, right? So the very last number at the end, which is a part of the seconds, I can see it like changing. Like now it's a five, six, seven, eight, but that's all I can see. I don't know how many minutes we've been on, how many seconds are in, like, I don't know any of that. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to gauge it. I'm all three hours later. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna say I've been on for about 15 minutes so far. I don't know, it just feels like that. Then again, with the time happening, I don't know. The sacred waters. Nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. Okay, see, you guys, this is this is why I needed to do this star seed light worker meeting or um, reading <laughs> and meeting. I'm calling all calling all star seeds, calling all light workers, meeting in 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 30 minutes, okay, to talk about what is taking place and our galactic lives and selves, okay. Um, the sacred waters. There is, I keep this keeps coming up. I sound like a broken record, so you know, for those of you guys who have been with me, you already know, right? But there is this call to action, okay, from the, from the goddess, all right? From the goddess, from the mother, from mother earth, okay? You need to spend time near water. You need to go visit water. You need to drink a lot of water right now, you guys. Um, you know, healthy amounts of water, okay? Figure out, you know, what is a good amount of water for your body weight. You know, everyone's going to be a little different. You know, sometimes we can overindulge in water. I mean, there's been instances where people like drown out their body because they're drinking way too much. So again, that's what I mean. Like it's a, it's an, it's a healthy consumption of water, but you need to nourish your vessel. You need to hydrate your vessel because you're bringing in so many solar codes you're you're pulling in so much and receiving so much and you're being activated uh and upgraded on such a high 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 level right for those of you guys who have been really doing this uh inner work and and connecting and and doing all the things right you're gonna be feeling it like crazy you're gonna be rising like crazy we all are are receiving on a collective global scale right but it, it is gonna hit people in different ways. And for some people, it's gonna hit very intensely and strongly. Um, and then for some, it's gonna feel like waves coming in and out, waves coming in and out, waves coming in and out, right? And then for some, it's gonna just, it's gonna be like a blast, right? So for me, it's like, it's it's intense. It, it is a lot and literally um, after the full moon last night, I just did a beautiful, um, guided meditation for the full moon with um, a soul sister. Some of you guys may follow her already on Instagram. Um, she is by located in Mount Shasta and she goes back and forth kind of between Mount Shasta and LA. Her, uh, her name on Instagram and her business name is the Bougie Healer, but her name is Gail Fuller. And she's an absolute sister and she is one of the only people I have ever come into contact with her light language sounds almost, it is so close to mine. And some of the, the things that, the way that we say things and like, I've never heard anyone else say, like at the end of their light language transmissions. So we are, you know, for me, very closely connected. Um, 
we've already like connected through through Instagram Messenger and all the things she um, replied to one of if you guys follow me on Instagram Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot I shared in my story just a few days ago um, one of her posts and I said I love this share from her and it was a picture of her <clears throat> um, in Sedona and she's took a picture of the light codes from the sun and it's like kind of beaming down on her and you know I was commenting on her caption that she titled you know I wrote out and then I wrote my own like paragraph because I said this is the stuff I keep sharing and talking about and the way that she shared it it was very similar to even the way that I word things. So we're soul sisters. I know we are. We've, I know we've been close with each other in past lives and just it's the universe bringing us together like it is with many of our soul tribe members from past lives at this time. So a lot of the people that you're called to watch and like the spiritual community, readers, you know, stuff like that. It's not going to be like obviously for everybody, but there's a lot of you guys who are subscribed to this channel that we've known each other in past lives and we're reuniting in this lifetime. And the way that we were reunited was through this platform. Okay. So there could be a feeling of like, I feel like I just know Erica, like we're friends, like, you know, like I just, I know her, I trust her. She's, you know, it, it's like that, right? Because you, you can, you do, because you know me, you know me on a soul level from past lives and who I've been, right? So it's very beautiful. And Gail is that for me as well. Okay. Um, you know, I've been blessed enough to me and I will be blessed like most of us, right? To continually, continuously meet our, our true soul members. So I am so thankful for that. Okay. So, um, trust that you are, you know, you're, you're going to your, to your highest, greatest life yet. Okay. Um, so nourishment, replenishment, health, rest. I just said, you guys, I just, I talked all about the physicality of what we're ha what's happening right now and what we're going through. And I'm hearing blast off, blast off, blast off. So <clears throat> that's what we're doing. We're quite literally blasting off into the ethers, into the higher dimensions, into the cosmos. Um, but it's like, it's being pulled down here and we're integrating into it. And it's like all this like beautiful, you know, connecting and activating and upgrade to our whole um, system. All right. So the carbon based, everything is being broken down and transmuted and healed into such a powerfully a uh, big way that again you're going to be irrecognizable okay your your skin is going to look different you're going to you're you're going to start aging in like a reverse type energy not like don't not, no comments of benjamin button please right it's not like that literal but it, it is where your divinity is going to start shining through um where maybe you had scarring on your skin before the scars will start fading disappearing um it's going to start healing your physical vessel in a huge way let's say you're struggling with weight you'll start dropping weight you'll start shedding weight you'll start aligning right um things of that nature okay um and it's time to start sending light to the parts of ourselves that we uh, are not feeling completely aligned to speaking of weight like let's say you're someone that maybe you feel you've struggled with weight or you are you know I just I'm I've you know maybe had children and my hormones have changed and you know I just feel like for whatever reason I've been at I've plateaued I'm at a stuck weight right it's time to start embracing and knowing that that is not your that does not have control over you you have control over that no matter what it is I don't care if you go to the doctor and the doctor you know says you know your your heart does not look good and you have six months to live you are in you're still in control of that you still have the ability through love through intention and through that life force all right you have the ability to completely transform and, and heal that story and to shift that timeline and that outcome okay now i'm not saying that like no matter what right it's like we this is you know entertainment purposes only and like you have to be discerning with this but i'm telling you we are infinite creators infinite beings and if you are able to do that and and release all of the dirty the the worry and the 3d stuff and the polarity of it trust me it's powerful you'll hear a ton of gurus you know uh, law of attraction um people things of that nature they will speak of stories like this where you know people had ailments and they started um affirming you know my my heart is healthy my heart is is completely cured i live a very healthy life and they send love and light to that right it is literally blown doctors minds because they go back in and it's it's for another checkup and it's completely healed and they're flabbergasted right now think of the ability that you have of doing that kind of stuff with everything in your life right 
okay? That is what we're being shown again. That is what we're stepping back into. That is what we're rising into at this time is our most infinite, divine, powerful, magical selves, all right? You guys with me? You guys here on the ride? You guys coming along? Because I'm going way up. I am going high, 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 high. That the full moon and the meditation I did last night with this soul sister of mine, um, you know, there was a, a group of people where she, you know, sent out the private link or whatever. Um, but that was one of the most powerful meditations that I've had in, I'm going to say years, years. Okay. And I connected to some of my galactic beings, interdimensional beings. Um, they came through my Lyran family was there this morning. I was shown a like picture of another spiritual person on Instagram where it was a picture of a, like a, it looks like, like an Arcturian being with a huge glass, like a huge portal right here lit up in their third eye of blue and that's exactly the kind of being that i saw that came through to me um last night during meditation i had a lot of beings coming to me like i was on many different planes last night during the meditation and there was a whole lot going on all at once while in this very calm meditative state of course um but i had just these very powerful beings come through and i can see them right now like still clear as day but i was blown away that i saw the very next day an illustration of a galactic being that looked exactly like one of the beings very closely to one of the beings uh that were showing up last night for me um so anyways uh water water you know and for many of you guys watching this you know you are water beings you know you you've lived as different water beings and connecting to the water and it's like your soul is letting you know like the water is going to purify it's going to cleanse it's going to hydrate you it's good for you it's nourishing to you um, it's going to keep you hydrated in this extremely hot weather that we're experiencing in the northern hemisphere at this time um, But it's also going to activate you. Okay, and remember to bless your food and bless your water before you eat it consume anything um, I cleanse it I blend it may it strengthen and nourish my body bring healing and whatever else it is that you want to you know say with it the rose garden innocence forgiveness and be gentle with yourself yeah this is all about a time of rest seriously you guys seriously this is a time to take it slow take it very slow take it easy be in the flow i'm like is this a hair on my hat or on my phone oh it was on the phone screen <laughs> oh that's funny um Many of you guys are feeling a lot of fear right now. You're feeling a lot of fear, a lot of worry. You're not feeling safe. You're feeling like things are shifting and you know it, it's good in a lot of ways, but also you're feeling like the shifts that are taking place, they kind of scare you. Like you're not sure what's coming. You know something is and things are shifting, but you don't know what to expect. It's like you're going, what exactly does this new earth mean? What is gonna happen? You know, like spirit is not, in, or the, you know, this, the people who are, you know, running the world, the humans that have been infiltrated, they are, you know, they're not just going to let this, you know, happen. They don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. And you have nothing to, to fear and worry about except the worry and fear itself that you are putting out there into your energy field and energy vortex because that is what you're telling the universe you want more of. Bring me more things to fear. Bring me more things to worry about. Bring me more things into my life to create anxiety and tension and stress. We need to align to our truth in these moments, okay? And we need to tell the universe exactly what it is that we desire and want and send that vibration out. Because every thought you think, every word you speak, but every thought you think, it carries a vibration. And are those good vibrations going out or are they bad vibrations going out? Happy vibrations going out or negative vibrations going out? Okay, it's time to align to, to that and know that there is nothing to fear. Okay, that is the illusion. That is the illusion, my loves. Whatever's got a hold on you, whatever is got you still in chains, feeling unworthy or not strong enough to act or do something. Now is the time. With this full moon, you guys, I woke up this morning after that meditation 
and just and just doing the release work that I was doing and connecting the way that I did and all the things, right? I set the intention with this full moon. I knew exactly what it is that I wanted to release and heal and what I wanted to pull into my life at this time. And I woke up this morning, you guys, and I feel like a completely different person. I feel so refreshed, rebirthed, new. I feel like I woke up and everything is just, it's vibrating at a much higher frequency because it is. The, the birds are singing differently. The sky is more blue. I could hear the wildflowers. I can hear the grass. I can hear the trees speaking and, and, and rustling and, and happy and feeling better and you know all the things, right? I feel like a million layers of weights were lifted from me last night and I feel like I was completely rebirthed by the light, you guys, and I feel so good, and I feel so motivated, and I feel so ready, and I feel so in love with myself, and I feel so in love with life, and I just feel like it's time, it's ready, it's time, and I'll be honest with you guys, I have not felt this way for about a year. I'm a very loving person, compassionate person. I give a lot of love every single day. I try to give love to myself the way that I give love to others because I certainly give love to others more than I give love to myself and it's not supposed to be like that, right? But I've been in this <clears throat> dark night. I've been in this transitional phase like many of us have, okay? And I'm going to say about the past like seven months or six months or so, it got even more pressure, more dark, more, you know, and it's not because things just really started shifting or changing in my life. Actually, things got better. I got my own place. I, I you know, but it's because of the deep inner work and, and the stuff that needed to come to the surface and be worked out and released and healed and purged so that I can truly tune in and rise to the highest places of my, um, of my divinity and of my heaven on earth, right? And this is now. This is where I'm at now. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that I was just going to wake up. I knew that I was going to shift and that it would be like that. And I've been talking about that with you guys too, where you guys are just gonna, it's gonna be like night and day where you just feel good, you feel better. And I even just spoke of this in a reading, was it yesterday, the day before, where I said, trust me, you guys, you're gonna start feeling better, more energized. You're gonna feel happier and just all these things. It's like, it's just gonna fall away and drop. And literally like the next day, that literally happens for me. And I know it's happening to you guys. And if it hasn't happened yet, it will, it's going to, okay? You gotta trust. You gotta trust. You gotta fully surrender. Fully surrender the ego. Fully surrender the I know it all and I know better than you. And you know, you gotta fully surrender. Surrender. I'd rather be happy than right. I say that all the time. I'd rather be happy than right. Okay? You gotta surrender the ego. Surrender it up entirely, completely. Okay, it's time to nourish your gardens, to find and know that you are innocent. Stop punishing yourselves. That's why. Stop punishing yourselves and start telling yourselves a new story. Okay, because that is the truth. The you from yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and 10 years ago and all that is gone. What's not gone is the pieces of you that you're holding on to from those timelines and from that version of you. And now is the time to let it wash away fully so that you can rise with me, okay? And all of the other light workers and star seeds out there that are rising to these massive high timelines right now. I told you guys, I said this just a couple months ago. I said this summer, I kept talking about how wild the summer was going to be and how the closer we got to the lion's gate and over the buildup from eclipse season and just all the things, how it was going to be intense and crazy. And I didn't even realize all the astrological transits. That was just what I intuitively was saying and feeling, right? But I've been saying, and <clears throat> you're not going to hear other readers talk about this because this is something that I was shown. Now, we know that the lion's gate portal, 8-8 portal every year, it's a powerful portal, right? Um, and right now we are literally in the serious Stargate portal um, from the 3rd to the 7th of July or whatever. But we start feeling the energies before that and we'll feel the you know, portal energy even after the 7th, right? Um, 
but there is a direct like stargate streamline open from the Sirius star nation right now to earth um, through the central sun basically, right? Sorry about that. This is a sign though, you guys, there's a reason. There's a reason why this fly is flying around and only like in the camera and flying around here and like, you know what I mean? And it's nothing bad, it's nothing bad, it's it's good. It's, there's a, there's a reason why it's, it's buzzing around the way that it is. I don't know what exactly it will mean. I'm gonna look it up after the reading, um, but it's something good, I can feel it. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I've been saying that around the 80 portal, that anyone who is still heavily in their masculine uh, energy as far as doing, 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 going, 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 ego, 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 not taking time to rest, be in the flow, love on self, um, connect to the mother, connect to, you know, that kind of energy, their, their higher selves, um, they're going to be very, very, very heavily um, blasted with the portal energy, okay? And it's going to be like working overtime for those specific energies. So it could be a woman who's very much still operating in their wounded masculine, okay? And, and maybe not balancing the feminine and masculine energies. They're just overly in their masculine. And for the masculines, the men out there who are doing the same thing, it is going to be flip-flopped. It is going to be reversed. It is going to be balanced. It is going to be leveled. And then from that time on, you're gonna start seeing a massive wave, a tidal wave of, um, of, 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 of the timeline shifts and things shifting. Uh, you're gonna see readers, the messages are gonna shift and change. They're gonna become more powerful and potent. You're not gonna, it's gonna be more so things about the divine masculines, um, connecting more on higher levels and like twin flames coming together and like, you know, union timelines, which we're already in, it's gonna shift dramatically. And again, you're not gonna hear anyone else say that specifically about the masculine energies during the portal because that's something that I was shown, unless they're shown the same thing, you know, which is always a possibility, but I haven't heard anyone mention it, talk about it, speak about it whenever, you know, because we're getting closer to the portal. So there's a lot of readers and astrologers and just people in general, spiritual people talking about the 88 portal coming up and, you know, because we are in the Sirius gateway and it's connected to Sirius as well, right? But I'm not hearing anyone say like, yeah, the divine masculines are going to be blasted with the 88 portal and it's going to awaken them in a great way where it brings them online and it's going to activate these, these Syrian, um, these Syrian gateway codes um, that are going to help them remember things that only that time will do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull some cards because I've been channeling, channeling, channeling. Look at, see, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Thank you, Spirit, for always backing me up. See, confirmation of that is a prophesized message and vision um, from Erica about the 88 portal, about the, the brothers, about the, the, the masculines, the star brothers, the people in masculine energies. Look at brothers of the rose came out, masculine energy, confirming that message. So like, let's say you have a DM counterpart, a twin flame or something like that, right? Um, and they're starting, you know, they've been activated, they're ascending, but they're going very slowly. They're, they're dragging their heels, right? And they're trying to cling to these uh, realities that they have, you know, that they're outgrowing, that they've ascended beyond, right? But they're still trying to hold on to it because it's comfortable, because it's easy, because that's just what they've been doing, right? The ego stuff. Well, the 88 portal is going to annihilate those energies and make it to where they don't basically exist. Things will happen where it's going to be broken down in such a very heavy way that they, the, the, it just, boom, shuts it down. I'm telling you guys, like a light switch, shut off. Mm -hmm. And then boom, light turned on healing turned on, alignment turned on, balance turned on. I'm telling you, you watch, you watch, you watch. Everything I've ever predicted happens. Everything, everything. The sacred masculines are going to be awoken, but at this very moment, you guys, the sacred masculines are awakening. And for many of you guys, all right, part of these timeline uh, merges, right, is the, the, the sacred masculine coming in like at a, an elevated speed, a faster speed is, is what I'm going to say, is what I'm getting. And they're coming in with honor, protection, and support. See? This is what this full moon is doing. This is what all these 
uh, retrogrades and astrological transits are doing, it is reintroducing uh, the divine masculine to their inner healed sacred masculine, to who they truly are, to their powers, right? But also aligning you guys to your sacred masculine. Um, this is a time for rest, nourishment, relaxation, being in the moment, allowing yourself to just sit with things, um, not over worrying, don't over process, don't overthink, don't, you know, oh, I gotta think about tomorrow and stress myself out and all these things, right? Be as much in the moment as you can, be in the flow. This is not a time of resistance. This is not a time of resistance, okay? But I do feel that for a lot of you guys, you are, there's worries, there's fears, there's blocks. Okay, so there's with this full moon, um, you know, because we're still in the energy of it, it's 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 release time. What do you need to release? Is it physical weight on your body? Help me release weight, right? I release the weight that weighs upon me. I release all of the weight that is not mine. I love my, you know, let's say, you know, for for me, I'm I'm I, I sit comfortably around you know, 100 pounds, 101, because I'm a very small person. And on my body, it's not, I don't look overly thin. I just, it just, it, it, it sits evenly upon my, you know, in my vessel. So I would say, I love my 100 pound body. I love my 100 pound body. You know, this, I love this perfect weight on my body. I feel so good. I feel so, you know, confident in my skin. I love myself at any weight, but this is my, my happiest self, right? Things of that nature, okay? So I'm telling you guys, everything is intention. You have the ability, the capacity to create, to shift the stories you, you tell. You know, let's say you have an underactive thyroid and you pack on the pounds and you can't help it and there's, you know, and it's discouraging to you. Then you've, you, you change the story of your thyroid. You send love and light to your thyroid, to your digestive system, to your glucose levels to whatever else that you feel called to, but you would send love to your thyroid. And you start shifting that story. Oh, I can't work out because I have a, you know, a disability. I hurt my back a long time ago and it just, I can't work out, you know? You change the story. You are an infinite divine creator. Your back does not control you. The pain does not control you. You are in control of your reality and what manifests into your physical vessel, into your 3D life, okay? So it's time to change the story, okay? I love my 100 pound body. I look so beautiful in this body. I feel so good in this body. My joints feel good in this body because for me, I'm very tiny and the minute I start gaining any kind of weight, even like five pounds, I can feel it on my vessel, you know? I can feel it. So it's gonna be different for everyone, but I always you know, use myself as an example because I know myself, I know my life and what comes through. <laughs> All right, so for the collective, tell me about this uh, energy that I'm feeling around fear and worry. It's the root chakra and the solar plexus as well. This came through in the meditation last night too, um, where you feel powerless in situations. You feel like you don't have control in certain situations in your life. Um, whether that be your home life, a relationship, a marriage, um, your job, your career, uh, you know, whatever it is, the four of swords, Libra energy here. What aspect of your life needs rest and healing? See, this is what I'm saying. You guys, this is a time for rest. This is a time for you. This is alone. Look at alone after a time of a three of swords. Three of Swords is, is going through a separation. It's extreme, you know, it's it's heartbreak, it's pain. In the traditional tarot, it's three swords through a heart. <clears throat> this could also indicate like a third party energy, like, you know, you're letting go of whatever the third party is in your life that is <clears throat> like, it's not welcome there. It's not meant to be there. It's not supposed to be there. All right, so you're laying things to rest, literally. You gotta lay these things to rest. You gotta release them, lay them to rest. Give yourself that permission. There is nothing shameful about being an adult and taking a nap in the middle of the day. If you, if your body is telling you, we gotta lay down, you gotta lay down. Okay, if, if you all of a sudden you're craving an avocado, you need to eat an avocado. The nutrients in the avocado are calling you. 
Thank that avocado. Thank you for calling out to me. Thank you to my higher self for, 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 for telling me. Okay? So whatever it is. But this is a time where you need to rest and heal. What in your life needs rest and healing? And what, what parts of your life do you need to heal? And what parts of your life do you need to put to rest? Is it a relationship? For a lot of you guys, it is. It's some kind of codependent connection, relationship, whether that be a relationship with food, drugs, alcohol, a karmic partner, a, you know, a husband or a wife. The tower, there it is. See, things are changing, you guys. Things are changing fast, and you, you're either going to go with the flow and lock arms and walk alongside with the universe, okay, and the rest of us as we rise, right? Or you're going to get drugged by the hair and it's not going to be pleasant because the tower can be your friend. Either way, it's, the tower is always good at the end of the day because it's divine intervention and redirection. It's just the tower happens when you're not meant to be where you're meant to be. or You're not meant to be where you're at. And the, and the tower keeps coming in the form of misfortunes and, 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 you know, unlucky circumstances that happen and things like that. But it's the universe trying to change and redirect you and pull you out of that situation, okay, before shit really goes wrong, right? So the tower here says, what needs to break down in your life in order to be rebuilt, see? So these are, this is all stemming of what I said of, of tell me what the collective is fearing and worrying about. I'm telling you, you guys, the, the things that feel like any kind of dead weight or heavy or, or anything like that, those are the things that got to go. What brings you stress? What brings you strife? What brings you anxiety? Okay? If you take yourself out of, of, your, of your life, okay, and all the attachments and all the people and all of the responsibilities and all the things and all the things and all the things, you take yourself out. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to pull you out of it right now. I'm like the divine in the universe. I'm going to pull you out of your life completely. In this moment, I want you to think, not think at all. Actually, I want you to feel free. I want you to feel what it feels like to have zero attachments to you. No one needs you. You're not needed by anything. You have no responsibilities. You're completely free. All this is just you, your truest, highest self right here. Everything else falls away. How good does that feel? I'm going to place you over here. Okay, and I'm going to place you in this beautiful uh, ball of golden light. Okay? Where nothing else exists in it. Okay? You're, you're very protected in this golden ball of light. Nothing can get to you. No one can ask you for anything. No one's depending on you for anything. You're in this beautiful golden ball of light. It's this, this womb. Okay? Of safety. It's impenetrable. You're so safe. You're so held. You have nothing to worry about. How good does that feel? How free do you feel? How light do you feel? How much love runs through you in this moment? That is your true self. This is how you're meant to feel all the time, my loves. Even 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 with responsibility, even with children, even with, you know, I've got bills, I've got this, I've got, right, the 3D attachments, it doesn't matter, okay? When you're in alignment, true alignment, you feel how you felt in the golden ball of light that I put you into. You feel light, you feel airy, you feel good, you feel free, you feel ready, you feel, you know, nothing can get to me. Nothing can get to me. Well, I want you to know that's the truth. Nothing can get to you. The only things that get to you are the things you let get to you. Okay? All right. So it's time to rest. Put things to rest. It's time for you to rest. And it's time for these things to be healed. Okay? Because you don't want to be drugged by the, by the universe. You do not want this tower to happen in that regard, right? You already know what to do. Like, you already know what you're being called to do. And the ways that you need to change or shift or whatever it is, right? So there's that. Okay? The chariot. What signs are showing you that it's time to move forward? See, you're, this is a sign. This is a confirmation, all right? So we are moving forward. And this, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. There's also confirmation of, you know, the divine masculine energies because they're moving forward too. So this is this huge rising and leveling out and balancing, okay? But this message is for whoever's watching. So, you know, 
um, even for me, you know, I'm getting signs left and right about the new paths I'm being guided to take and the expansion that I meant to follow and the ideas that I meant to birth into creation. Um, you know, I am being very guided and I have a lot of beautiful things that I'm going to be creating and expanding on here um, in the not too far future, right? Obviously, finally getting my Patreon up, doing my uh, Oracle decks and tarot decks. Um, getting my Gypsy Cowgirl Crystal Cottage um, up and running, um, diving deeper into the Lemurian Pendants. Um, I would like to form some type of a, basically like a spiritual mentoring, but like something where people can purchase it, just like what I'm doing, but it's like something that's like maybe like a regular thing or you know, um, an option on my website as one of the products that you can do, things of that nature, finally getting my website up and running. There's a ton of creation that I am birthing, plus things that I'm keeping like, you know, that are like more high level stuff, but you guys will know eventually. But this is what I mean. This is the time to set yourself up, to start planting these seeds, to expand on what it is that you wanna create, believe in what it is that you wanna create, but that's how I'm being guided to move forward, okay? Um, you know, a year and a half ago or, or, or two years ago or whatever it was. Um, yeah, cause I just had my two year anniversary here on YouTube, you know, but uh, before that I had my ideas and creations were about the tarot and being a reader and, you know, use, utilizing my gifts and bringing healing to the collective and starting the YouTube channel. Now that's shifting. I'm rising up higher. So is everything else, right? Same thing with you guys. You're not, you're not meant to stay in the place that you're in right this moment forever, okay? All right, you're gonna be growing, expanding, rising. That's what I mean. You're gonna be unrecognizable. Page of Cups, I need to go because I know this is like already a long reading. Page of Cups, what situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity? Okay, so they're letting you know that there is this very um, beautiful opportunity coming in. Get one more piece for the collective. The nine of swords, here we go, okay. This is the end, this is the end of a cycle, the nine. Okay, in the tarot, the numerology, the nine is the end, the 10 is the completion, the ace is the new beginning, right? Okay, so you do have, um, for, for some of you guys, this is about these, these cycles of anxiety and sleepless nights and worry and broken sleep and you know worrying about the numbers and bills piling up and seeing the dollar signs and I don't have enough and how am I going to do this and how am I going to you know it's whatever it is it's everything 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 right they're letting you know this is the end of that we're helping you just how I said I woke up this morning feeling completely refreshed brand new literally you guys like I felt like I went through a massive I did I did go through a massive rebirth last night. I did go through a massive release and, and purge. I did do that. I did he I did connect to my my highest timelines last night interdimensionally. All right. I, I saw it. I saw it. I connected to it. I had confirmations from it. And now it's here. Now I'm calling it in. Now it's coming in and merging into my life. Okay. All right. So you same thing with you. I'm telling you, my loves, but you've got to surrender. What situation in your life is creating fear and anxiety? See, I told you guys from, from the get, I said I'm feeling and picking up on a lot from you guys of fear, anxiety, not feeling safe, worrying, all of that. And this is confirming that as we wrap up the message. And what is the feeling trying to tell you? So what situation in your life or situations are creating fear and anxiety? And what is the feeling trying to tell you? Okay, it's time to nourish your gardens. All right, I'm also getting like um, your daily routines. All right, let's get one from the dragons. So I send you guys so much love and light. You guys, we're doing it. We're doing it and I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm so honored for you guys to be here with me. Like it is an honor to connect with you. It is an honor to, to, to be the conduit, to be the messenger, right? Um, of source of spirit and to bring these messages through to you. So I just thank you from the bottom of my heart 
Um, if you would like to book a, a reading with me, a past life reading, a general reading, or any of the other options that I have, you can find it all down below. Um, and if you are interested in the one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons or spiritual mentoring, um, again, it's all down below with all the details and pricing and everything. Um, the spiritual mentoring is the same price as the tarot lessons, but instead of like really diving in and learning the tarot, we're going to, you know, dabble in a whole bunch of other things and do spiritual mentoring. Okay. So, but we'll still, you know, do activations and, and things like that, just like in the tarot lessons. All right, dragons for my beautiful collective. It's the silver lunar dragon. Look at we're in, you know, the energy of this beautiful super full moon and we get the lunar dragon, the silver lunar dragon. Okay. Some of you guys may be really connecting or feeling guided to wear um, the metal of silver, all right? Or maybe you're just needing to have silver around you. I'm also getting colloidal silver, so some of you guys need to look into that and maybe take that, okay? So this dragon bathes you in divine feminine light. See, the being bathed in the divine feminine light is that full surrender and release, just being in the flow and the receiving energy and trusting in what it is that you feel and your intuition and you know it's all that you know the masculine is the action the planning the strategizing the do 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 i gotta keep go go going right um and this is a time to be in the feminine to let them let them balance and to just release that control okay come into balance and practice peace harmony and cooperation expand your causal chakra okay So by you doing this, by um, practicing peace, harmony, and cooperation, okay, it's going to bring a lot of expansion to your crown chakra. So clearly, you guys, there's a big call at this time for big nourishment. Again, you guys are not going to even be irre irrecognizable. You guys are going to start shifting physically. You know, your life is going to shift. Your, your right, reality is going to shift. Everything's shifting. Everything's changing, you guys, and it is for the highest and greatest good of self and all. And it's beautiful. It's something to celebrate, something to tune into, something to... to okay, sorry about that, guys. The video got cut off, um, but then I was able to see that we were already at an hour. So I'm just going to wrap this message up with some um, Atlantis Oracle cards where you're going to tap in and see what the <laughs> Atlantean ancestors... Um, and energies have to bring through at this time because we are quite literally rising back into the Shambhala of Atlantis and that golden age, okay? So it's very powerful and know that if you're here on earth at this time, it's because you're very, very, very special. You're very chosen. You're very, very special, okay? Um, it's like the most powerful of light workers, the most powerful of us, um, the oldest souls, the ones, you know, not everybody's going to obviously be like that. There's a lot of new souls and different energies, right? But the ones of us who were in Atlantis, who were in the land of Mu even, right? We chose to incarnate here because we knew that the earth needed us, okay? So it is an honor, it is a privilege, it is something that many uh, interdimensional beings wish they could do. You know, they wish they could uh, come to earth and, and have this opportunity of, of life on earth, and they can't, you know what I mean? So it is, it is a privilege, it is an honor and a blessing. And know that, again, if you're here, it's because you're very special, all right? So contentment, look at her playing her flute again with sound music. Okay. So sound healing music, certain frequencies, tones, um, let them take you, let them move you, let them heal you. Um, let them wrap you up. Okay. So very powerful time for sound healing, light healing, um, and that kind of stuff. Okay. So crystal healing as well. Bianato, Bianato, Bianato. All right. Um, certain crystals like um, Atlantean Laramar or just la like Laramar, um, Aquamarine, um, Caribbean Calcite, 
things of that nature are going to be really, you know, anything that is in these tones, colorings, okay, um, very powerful. Also, of course, always, you, you know, the Lemurian, Lemurian clear quartz crystals, okay, um, are going to be a very powerful tool for you right now too, okay? So it says, be content as you are, contentment. In Golden Atlantis, everyone was honored. They were happy to be themselves, so they all enjoyed a sense of deep peace and well-being. Every individual was encouraged to develop his or her gifts and talents and use them to do what they loved most. Um, this, is pr this, this produced a feeling of true contentment because their offerings to their community were selfless. They also experienced the satisfaction of working for vision beyond the self. This card suggests that it is time to experience a well-deserved feeling of, of satisfaction. Accept yourself as you are and acknowledge all your good qualities and gifts. Then breathe in quiet contentment. This will enhance your feelings of well-being and attract more harmonious situations to you. Okay, so I'll hold that up for just a moment in case anyone wants to screenshot that. I just got chills, so I know some of you are. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck is the dolphin. Dolphins, um, you know, they, they are a soulmate energy, um, very connected to, for me, twin flame energy, um, very intense soulmate connections, like kind of energy, okay? Um, but it's about playfulness, the inner child. Remember to have fun. And that's what I'm saying. It's time, look at, see the, the children? Act as if you're, embrace the inner child. Have fun, play, tune in. Children laugh, they're limitless. They don't sit and worry and, you know, oh gosh, if I don't get my kindergarten coloring done tonight, you know, I'm not gonna get snacks tomorrow before nap time. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we have to embrace this where we, we release and we play, we play, we play. So the dolphins come forth and, and, and the, Atlantan, the Atlanteans come forth and they say, remember, play, have fun, be lighthearted, um, get out in nature, connect to water. I'm telling you, you guys, you guys know if you've been with me that what I say and when I say certain things and I keep telling you, like I'm telling you, right? Like it's powerful. It's for a reason. It's activating. It's cleansing. It's healing. You're going to visit a body, a body of water or, or submerge in the water and you're going to come out feeling renew, reborn. Like how I said, I felt this morning upon waking. It's like that. Okay. But there's also activations and different codes that the water is carrying for you. Okay. To help heal you and bring you online and you know things of that nature okay so the dolphin is number nine could be a life path number <clears throat> it says the dolphins came to earth from sirius and we're in the sirius stargate portal right now okay so the dolphins came to earth from sirius to teach humans they are wise ones who also maintain the vibration of the oceans in atlantis they telepathically imparted guidance technological knowledge and wisdom as they swam with the people they still do this and at the same time offering us healing and joy and helping to reconnect us to our soul energy. After the fall, the fall of Atlantis, not like the fall season. After the fall, the mighty angels of Atlantis took dolphin bodies and became the angel dolphins. They seek people who are pure and dedicated enough to work with them now, okay? This card suggests that you live lightly and wisely, bringing joy, fun, and laughter into your life. You are also guided to develop your healing abilities, serving your fellow humans and the planet, okay? So that's another thing I keep talking about is, you know, your natural uh, gifts and, and what you are really aligned with and, you know, excel in and are passionate about, okay? Even if like right now you feel like maybe there's not, you know, something specific or maybe you feel like you don't have a lot of talents and, you know, but you do, you do, we all do, okay? Um, and don't compare apples to oranges, like don't compare talent to, which I'm not saying it's not, it is talent, but don't compare like, you know, talent to an, you know, an, an athlete or a celebrity or a famous, you know, musical artist or whatever, right? Like, yeah, those are different forms of talent, but your talent is, it could connect to that kind of stuff, but your talent is very powerful and it's otherworldly and it's time to tap in and it's time to ask for guidance to do so and it's time to call in your guides and to to connect and you know if you feel you need assistance ask for 
you know, ask for certain people, teachers, gurus to be presented to you in your journey at this time so that you can connect with them so that they can assist you, guide you, right? You'll know what you feel called to, okay? Um, but anyways, I love you guys. I send you guys so much love and light. Again, I'm so honored. I'm so thankful that you guys are here with me. Sorry, Spirit is guiding me to just get at least one or two messages really fast from my spiritual message deck. So get ready, you guys. I am going to start getting stuff fired up. It's Mother Isis coming through. That's why. So Isis, work with Isis right now. All right. Ask her to help you connect to the energies of the earth. She is one who is all about nature um earth magic connecting to the elements connecting to mother earth she used to lay um back to back upon the skins of mother earth just on the ground right earthing and grounding and pulling in all of the wisdoms and messages and everything um from the earth from from the, from the mother right um all night long she would she would do this she would connect so she's huge with that kind of connection all right karmic loved ones all right so some of you guys you have extremely, you know, I don't want to say challenging or difficult because I feel like truthfully those words should not exist, right? There's resistance in the energy flow. Um, so there's a lot of resistance between you and karmic family members or just karmic people in general in your life right now. You're going to see who is karmic to you more than you ever have before. It's, you just, you can't connect. There's, there's, there's resistance. It's, it, it brings down your energy levels. It, it drains you. It depletes you. It makes you feel lower when you're around them, energetically speaking. Um, you know, it's that, but it, it, it means there's a balancing that needs to take place. You need to heal with these karmic loved ones. Okay. Blocking. All right. So blockages are being removed and where there is blocking and resistance, it needs to be worked on. It needs to be addressed and it needs to be healed and released. Okay. The, the things that are like in this energy, you can't take it with you. It's not a, it's not a 5d carry on. You cannot take the extra luggage with you into the new earth 5d. Okay. You just can't where you're headed. You can't take it with you. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Okay. Masculine rising and then boundaries and then cleanse with water. See, I love it. This is why I was called. This is why I was called. See everything I say, you guys, and I keep going back to it look i'm telling you i'm telling you there's sacred codes within the water the oceans the lakes the rivers the the, the earth elementals the water elementals they are working with you helping you and i'm telling you you guys you guys gotta get to water so do i so do i i was just telling my mom we need to go to the beach have a beach day she's like oh yeah that would be amazing you know bring my nieces and nephews bring my sister-in-law like have a day out with the kids, be around children. If you can be around children, if you can, you know, go to a playground, watch children play, be in that energy. That is so revitalizing, energizing, healthy. It's, it's, it's empowering. It's, uh, inspirational. It's all the things So you need, you need to do that. Okay. So cleanse with water. This is a, a massive time for boundaries, drawing a line in the sand. This is it. This is where I stand. These are my boundaries with love these are my boundaries you're protecting your energy masculine rising i spoke of that too the masculines are rising at this time your inner masculine is rising um there's a great healing taking place but also i'm telling you you guys everything i said about the 88 portal and the masculines rising get ready i'm telling you this is going to be a huge 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 balancing of the earth of the earth i won't say earth but whatever earth energies it's just going to keep going up, up, up. Okay, last one. Drained energy. See? I, anything that's draining your energy, it's got to go. And then this is on the bottom of the deck. A legion of angels is with you. And it's time for you to work with the white flame and the violet flame. Especially the violet flame. The violet flame is powerful. We worked with that last night in the full moon meditation, um, along with many other things. But the violet flame of St. Germain and working with the violet flame is extremely potent and powerful for burning away powerfully burning away the things that no longer serve you dense energies things that do not be belong in your energy field um you know any kind of attachments um anything that needs to be extracted any kind of hooks uh you know old cords um you know energetic ropes things from past lives ways that you've done whatever it is okay this is very powerful work working with the violet flame you envision yourself literally sitting in like a, a huge right like a bonfire right but huge where your whole body's immersed in it and it's massive flames 
but it's the violet purple flames, okay? And however you see it is how you see it, but it's time to work with it, okay? So I love you guys. There's a legion of angels among many other working with you, with myself. I'm always here for you guys. You can count on me to, um, to bring forth the most divine, you know, messages that I can. Okay. Um, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, but I, I, everything in divine timing about my Patreon channel. And I said, I've already got things like the bios written out, this and that. I need to put the profile picture and then I just need to upload some content and figure out the pricing and stuff. But it's, it needs to be done because this is, this is a whole new level. So I'm glad that I haven't actually started it yet. I'm glad that I'm starting it when I'm starting it because this is the time that's more powerful than ever. So I love you guys. I thank you guys and know that, um, that this is it. We are all rising together and it is exciting and it is magical. And what, what is in store for you, myself, us, we, cause there is no I and we, right? We are one. Um, it is bliss. It is magic. It is so get ready. I love you guys. Mwah.